is in Santa Barbara's Oak Park. Got a good soaking today. In previous years, that water would have just run down the drain. News Channel 3's reporter, Victoria Sanchez, joins us live. And Tori, I'm curious where that water came from. Well, it was very interesting, something new for the city of Santa Barbara. It's the end of the swimming season, and that means public pools need to be emptied. But instead of just wasting the water, it was put to good use this morning. Santa Barbara City fire crews are soaking Oak Park with 16,000 gallons of water. There's no fire, but the park is extremely dry. The current drought has limited the amount of irrigation the trees and grass get. But just around the corner, there's a wading pool with plenty of H2O to go around. There's no chlorine in the water. The, the water itself has been dechlorinated. The water's been sitting for approximately three weeks. We've had the water tested and such. No, no chlorine. It's basically tap water. The city parks and fire departments joined forces to empty the Oak Park pool now that the summer is winding down. And this is part of our drought strategy to try to go through and conserve water and also go through and utilize the water from this particular kiddie pool. Using pumps, water ejectors, and fire hose lines, this was also a perfect opportunity for crews to get much needed training. And the fire department has a need for training from these static water sources to help us in times of emergency. During earthquakes or wildfires, hydrants could be interrupted or unavailable. Lakes, ponds, and pools provide other water sources for the firefighters. We can also use this in times where there is flooding such as basements flooding or mass area flooding and there's a need to get water out of the area. After a little more than two hours the pool was drained, the park watered and the first responders newly trained. The park pool will reopen next summer and when that season ends the fire crews will be right back to water the park again. Live in Santa Barbara, Victoria Sanchez, News Channel 3.